funny how you don't see as many of these little tow trucks like you used to. This conventional, old school type of tow truck. Everything's become a flatbed, you know? What is it? Are they like a liability or something? Anyway, uh, I'll take advantage of this uh, sun there that's uh, reappeared because uh, it was a really gloomy, depressing morning. And uh, yes, uh, hello to you, Elton McFall here, aka you know what. On uh, the Kerry Road, the Kerry Street, the Kerry Boulevard, which of course, uh, looking this way south, leads to Highway the Kerry, Highway 15. And this is the Northgate Shopping Center, which I just came out of the Timmy's to Rock Wiz there. And I refrained from getting a coffee because I've already had three, my last one not long ago. And also because I'm not feeling well the past few days. So I figure it's the pericarditis because last night I was kind of worried I had COVID. So I took, a, I've got, you know, the, uh, I've got the free COVID tests at home. You know, they give you a box and there's like, I don't know, you can take like five, ten different tests. And I did a test and it came out negative, so uh, whoop de freaking do! So it's not COVID, great. Because I had it a few weeks back there, it was freaking hell. Every day I had a headache. And that's why I thought I had the COVID, because I had a headache for a day or two. But that's because, again, I'm just forcing, it's, it's a tension headache. It's too much use of the muscles related to my freaking eyes and my back of my neck that I'm using too much to, to do paintings, to, to do freaking uploading stuff, listing stuff for sale, taking pictures, like, doing my mo I'm working on a model right now it's all very uh uh hard it's all very stressful on the oh I gotta stop here a minute sorry about that folks I had to film the uh the Laval STL uh, non-scrap but 2009 actually to be uh, to be exact and uh and right here we're at the covert Sur bus terminal here very very busy affair over here and as you can see, the classics, they still live on on signs. Of course, one day they'll find a way to replace them because that's what cities and government officials do. They waste our money a lot of times, don't they? They just piss it all away. Some of it is spent well or needlessly needed, and some of it is just unfortunately not in an A. You hear that horn? That's a tow truck horn. Oh, look at this! Fly! Fly! Where the hell are you all coming from? I'm going. Waiting for scraps. Anyway, so yeah, I'm moving this way because uh, I'm going to the uh, Renaissance uh, secondhand store. Despite not feeling amazing, I'm not going to stay home all freaking day, that's for sure. I used to take this bus, the 174. It was such a long time ago, there were still classics running. When I worked for a brief time at uh, Purolator, or as a guy I worked with, you would call it Purolator. Oh, by the way, I didn't I mention to you we're in the Ville Saint Laurent part of the city. Now I'm also doing this video, spur to moment decision, because of the fact that I, I think it was six months ago or more than six months ago, so probably this year, January, February, March, something like that. I did a freaking walking video right here on the carry, but walking the other way, walking uh, northward, <laughs> and I freaking deleted the video by mistake. I was not too pleased. It wasn't too long of a video, but I started, you know, somewhere down there, several blocks down there, all the way to O'Brien. So, uh, figured might as well redo it since I'm here. And I'm not planning on going too far today. I hear a truck somewhere down there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop here this moment because I've often chilled out here many times because this is where I've got a lot of responses. Ooh, I like that. Is that blue? got a lot of responses here and from a lot of trucks and buses so I'm gonna stop a moment should mention at this point taking my time to mention it to show you the type of people around here but I am the minority around here and frankly I know it's gonna sound prejudiced to some of you but I wouldn't live around here just because of that even though this is my favorite part of Ville Saint Laurent this is the oldest part here this area especially uh, east of uh, the carry here and of course did I mention we're at Covertsu Boulevard which is why the metro station is called Covertsu Covertsu there's the McDicks which I used to be able to walk in and use the bathroom and I can't anymore because it's locked off because I live in a city of savages what can I tell you got a guy here in his Tesla you're not supposed to be parked there I got a Tesla I don't give a shit about rules your stupid fucking electric car fuck that shit all right I'm tired of waiting here now nothing's going on 
Nothing's responding lately. It's been very, very quiet because people are know that the hospitals are overcrowded and over capacity and they're worried they're going to get the COVID, blah, 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 blah. So we'll just keep on moving over here. Well, you know, all the times I walk down the street here actually uh, makes me think of how many restaurants I've never tried around here that look good, you know, like Chinese restaurants and Lebanese and, you know, because it's a big Lebanese community, a big Arabic uh, community here in the city, in the Inville Saint Laurent, I should say, they probably make up for the most type of people. And uh, there used to be a Hobbyville, hobby store up there, but... What are you going to do? Ain't much, uh, many hobby stores anymore. People don't want to build things anymore, you know. So, uh, that's uh, because they're too hooked to the internet, uh, specifically tied into video games, and playing video games and video games. Like, I got a neighbor, he's a nice guy. Don't really know him well, but I know he's a huge gamer, so... Great. Great! Hey, you want to go to La Ritz? If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? <laughs> Putting on the Ritz. This is mostly a terminus for the STL Laval transit buses over here. And I see a hybrid and there's an older one in the front. I think that's the one I filmed actually. Look at this, they redid all this here. Like it's nice, but you know, it's freaking expensive. Especially when you're talking about doing that all over the place, it seems, all over the island. Except for the east and west. Yep. Look at that, it's 9-11. Hmm. Those lanterns, they, they look like lanterns. They look like something out of the, uh, the parking lot for the uh, Atwater Market. Yeah. Big ass Lincoln Navigator there. I don't like these as much as the old ones, frankly. I really don't. I don't get hungry. I thought about getting a coffee at Tim's, like I said, I didn't because we're already at three. But now I feel myself maybe getting hungry and I don't want to have to stop somewhere because I get. I want to go find at least one big, if not two or more, bigger frames because generally that stuff sells. I have a new friend of mine there. He bought a one of my original paintings I did years ago. Big painting too. Like I appreciated art considering how much it costs. And also on top of that, I showed him my vintage bus ad, so I found this two-page, he picked out this uh, two-page uh, Greyhound bus ad from like, I don't know, 57 or whatever. So uh, I gotta frame that for him. If I don't find a frame for him, then I'll just use the uh, the frame I have a 56 Pontiac ad in, but I don't want to do that because that frame's, uh, it's one of these vintage frames that like, it's all these pins in the back, there's like 20 of them or something, so it's take a bit of time to uh, take it apart. You know, I'm looking at these people walking out of this alley. And I remember I stopped here once when I did that original video I mentioned, and then I stopped rec started recording it. Maison Shindo, Shindo. This is where Hobbyville was, was right here. Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure about it. I like how everything's reflecting in the glass. Nice clean glass. Look at this nice mural here. Now you see, that is something for the city to always be worth putting money in and investing in. Speaking at as an artist, is to be paying artists to do murals that is money well spent of course the irony though is if the artist is a tagger and well no actually not a tagger and then of course if they're not a tagger and doing graffiti then their mural actually might get graffiti uh, because they're that's how these, these 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 taggers these guys who do vandalism they all know each other usually eh? so they're a bunch of hypocrites so in other words it's okay for them to graffiti over an artist's mural if they're not connected to other taggers. You see where I'm going with this? It's just it's, it's like, absolutely ludicrous. Just That's a perfect example of a ludicrous world we live in. And I'll tell you even more about these guys. I only found about this recently. Some of these guys, they're such hardcore tagger graffiti. I'm not going to say artists, okay? Because graffiti art is, is a very gray area for them. But they, uh, they'll even wear construction like overhauls, like construction security suits and all that. It makes themselves look like construction workers. I'm telling you, man, there should be a tax force going after these guys, but there isn't. I don't know why. You know why? Because you know what the, the, the police is going to say? They're going to say, oh, well, we we already have enough work as it is. We don't have time for that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. We have too many unsolved cases. And this looks like it was either an old post office or a 
police station. There's a flagpole there. I'm sure it was one of the other. Yeah. I like this part of the carry. I really do. I actually find it more interesting than, than the part of the carry in NDG when you're going like, you know, below freaking uh, Villa Maria, you know? Yeah, it's nice looking. Uh, that's a V8 uh, uh, Infinity, actually. Yeah, that's not a common model. I know uh, one of my subscribers has one. I don't know if he's still watching my videos. He gave me a toy truck years ago. Wow, could that be more, like, less obvious? Well, we're coming up to my uh, my store here. I can see the building coming up there. So, it's, again, it's not a long walk, just a short video. But I'm glad to have done it. I like this Bronco. This is the Bronco I like because this thing comes in, like, I don't know, two, three shapes, sizes. This is, like, the biggest one. This one is the cool one. I like it. Something smells good here, eh? You know what I forgot to mention that's around here? I didn't show it. It's the Kerry Hot Dog. That place has been there. I think it's like 69. I don't know where it is. Somewhere around there. Oh, man. It smells good, too. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost want to go. I almost want to freaking go eat something. But I'm not really hungry. Oh, for all I know, maybe I won't even find anything at that uh, store. But I usually, that's why I came all the way up here from Hoshalaga. I usually do find something. Uh, Oh snap, they're responding! Damn it, I missed them. There's a fire station down there. Fire station uh, 73. A couple of blocks down there and I missed it. You know, and I just remembered Pandela's Pizza is near here also. And here's another. Look at all these nice old buildings, commercial buildings. Like this is the store I'm going to, right? But look at this. This looks like it could have been a supermarket before or something. Like a Dominion or a Steinberg's. What a beautiful day. Gorgeous. So that's it, guys. Um, if by any chance I don't find any frames here, that's what I was trying to say. Is like This is the place I usually find frames at. Like, all kinds of sizes. They have the nice stuff. Uh, but if I don't find anything at all, I will continue the video uh, up until uh, Zucalej Metro Station, which is down there, a few blocks down there, about five blocks or so. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Uh, find me on uh, Patreon, Patreon, and uh, click below. Uh, check below the uh, the um, the Teespring T-shirts I have. If you want to own a piece of me, some of my artwork. Hey, it's better than even owning one of my prints. They're not cheap, but man, you get some unique T-shirts from me of various uh, vintage automobile artwork I've done. Bye. Oh, that was surprising. They didn't have the, they got tons of frames, tons of frames, but they didn't have the size that I wanted, you know, and why do I always buy old frames? Just because everything today is so overpriced, you know, but, uh, whatever, uh, it's all right. I'm doing this walking video. It's not like I'm coming here for nothing. I'm walking on the sunshine. Oh yeah. It makes me feel good. Woo! And, uh, yeah, whatever. It's all right. Not a big deal. I'll probably go to and then one or two places. There was a frame I saw in there was 16 by 20. I thought about buying it. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. It's beautiful now. I think everything happens for a reason. I get to finish this video in a proper way. Uh, and I'm even think is that a non-scrap I hear? Oh no, it's a minibus. I was even thinking of uh We don't need no stinking windows. Got some pumpkins there. I was even thinking maybe what I almost thought about going to Pandela's and getting the pizza. That's tempting actually. Pandela's Pizzeria, like I said, is a little bit east of here. What's that I hear? Something with a turbo. You can hear when a turbo is that with that. Not the turbo, the nitrous. It goes like shh. And I filmed the vintage elevator in here. And you know it's vintage when you, you push the button and you hear the, the, the motor going you know, like that. Activate it. Uh, anyway, and uh, thought I'm thinking also maybe I'll actually take a walk down to the uh, the Saint Laurent sub, uh, which is the uh, let's see if I can show it from here, which is the uh, CN line, not the main main line, but this is one of the main lines. It's just not used as often. Now I'm zooming in where Du College Metro is. Now you can't really see it because it the street dips, so. 
I don't know. I've uh, wasted many a times uh, trying to get a Fredo, get a train there. That's a STM fire hydrant for right underneath the tunnel between uh, Colvert Metro and uh, Zucalège Metro, right over there. Nice park over here. This is something unique here about this part of Montreal. Is it, look at the stop signs; they're mounted in the middle like that. It's different, you know. Got the nice medium here. It's nice, you know. But again, it's it's not a question of sounding prejudiced. Like I said before, I wouldn't live here because, you know, it's most I am the I'd be the minority. But it, it's just you know everybody wants to live where they fit in somewhere, and it's not what the hell's unusual about that. There's nothing new about that, you know. Look, they got their unique light fixtures here. They changed the street signs like the ones in Montreal North that are like that because they're the most legible and as somebody who's visually impaired, I should know that, you know. Well, the weatherman was right. It's cleared up. I'm thrilled. Just wish I wasn't feeling so lousy, though. Shit, yesterday I was feeling so lousy, I made the mistake of walking to my place, the Joliet Metro, which takes a good over 10 minutes, and it's almost always uphill. So, you know, I'm, I'm pumping my heart very hard. And uh, by the time I got to take the train, I went out to the west. Uh, I was feeling pretty sickly. Look at this beautiful old building here. Look how old this thing is. Look at the roof is all wobbly there from age, you know. And this looks like something that would have been built easily 100 years ago or more, or maybe 20s. That's definitely one of the oldest buildings on the street. There's no doubt about that. Be fun to know when it was built actually you know uh, specifically when you see a building that's got a roof like that overhead and a, and a gallery yeah that's definitely built the, the, in the days before air conditioning came out so before the 30s you know yeah i'm getting a little hungry i don't know what do i want to eat what do i want to eat what do i want to do yeah, they often run the older buses on on this route. It's funny to see a hybrid there. Hybrid, they say in French, hybrid, hybrid, hybrid. It's like the H is silent. That's just funny about the French language, you know. See, the thing is, if I uh, continue all the way over there past Metro Station, it's not particularly interesting, and there's nothing really too much to look at, and uh, it's just. It, but it goes to uh, Highway 40, Metropolitan. Oh, look at this. Maison Oté. Oté, là. Oté, call this. Coiffeur. Oh, yeah, I remember this place. I love that song. Ra, ra, Rasputin. Da, 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 da. They had a band bigger than Texas. No, that's not how it goes. Ra, ra, Rasputin. Di, 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 lover of the Cajun Queen. And I like that Jetta because it's nice and red. Rev it up. Oh, boy, that's running like shit. Kit Kat Dippiner. And there it is. Zoo College. So that's it. So now I'm thinking, uh, what do I do now? What do I do? Oh, yeah, and uh, Vanier College actually is down there. Let's take a zoom down there. For the kids that don't want to go to John Abbott College or they don't want to go to uh, Concordia. Or, sorry, John Abbott. Okay, now it's really over. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Be good. Always appreciate your positive comments. And for those of you especially who lived here or you would visit here back in the day, you see how it's changed and you've got stories about whatever. I love it. It's always welcome. Thanks again for watching. Take care and uh, be well. Bye-bye.